Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for creating a simple cinematic in UDK using Matinee. This is the uh, UDK version 7748, the uh, December beta. My name is Grace Blessy. I'm a level design student at the Guild Hall at SMU. And today's date is February 7th, 2011. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to create a simple cinematic. Um, the first thing I want to do is show you how to put a skeletal mesh into your level and have it animate using one of the preloaded animations that comes with the engine. And I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a camera, animate the camera, switch, set up a second camera, and then switch between the two viewpoints, and then also how to get back out of the cutscene once it's over and return control to the play. Alright, so what I'm using to make this cutscene is a uh, pre-existing animation of a spaceship flying through. Uh, this animation was created in matinee by my project partner, David Skaggs, another student at the Guild Hall. Um, he, if you want to learn more about how to animate a spaceship yourself, so you can follow this tutorial, tutorial along exactly, I should check out his videos, which are linked in the information section of this video. Um, but if you don't have Spaceship, that's fine. The steps that I go through here can be used to make a cinematic out of anything. You can even make a little cutscene out of a level with nothing in it but scenery, you know, just panning across and showing your beautiful view that you've created. But what I have here to work with is this spaceship that you see here. It comes flying in, kind of idles there, and then it goes around. If I were to keep, you know, playing the matinee, it goes around following this pink line comes around the buildings and fires off some rockets. And uh, so I want to, my plan for this is that I want to have the, the player walks out this door, they hit this trigger, that already starts the animation for the ship. That's how my uh, partner set it up. So I want to have that trigger also set off the cinematic where the camera looks to the right, sees the ship coming in, kind of follows it around, and then gives control right back to the player as soon as he starts firing the rockets off so that the player can um, stop out of the way. So, first thing we got to do, though, is add our skeletal mesh. This is going to be uh, basically our bad guy who we're saying is calling the ship. This is not by any means required. It's just something interesting. Another thing you can add to the cinematic to kind of give you something more to film. Basically, there are a lot of different things. This is a pretty simple thing that I thought would be useful to show people how to do. So um, to get started, go into your content browser and filter down the skeletal meshes to find your mesh. Now the uh, here we go. The engine doesn't come with a whole lot. They've only got about three humanoid ones, so I just usually pick the iron guard here, drag him into the level, and um, he's not going to be positioned exactly perfectly. Um, you don't want to watch me sit here and tweak things down to the most minute detail. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to kind of get him in general position. So he's facing over here, standing there. And uh, now that we've got him, we need to go ahead and have our animation group selected in the content browser before we do anything else. And also, this is a good idea if you don't, if you're not really familiar with animation sets. Um, you want to go ahead and look at these before we go with the matinee and actually set up the animation because you're going to need to know the name of the one that you want. So again, the only animation set that's really good for this guy is K Adam Human Face Male. So we'll double click to go look inside of it and we can preview our animations under this animation tab here. So we can kind of fix this viewport and then you have all these animations here on the left. And I happen to know already that I want to use one of these taunts. See, we have some victory taunt preview down here. I think I'm going to have my guy do the hula hoop as his spaceships come in. Well, this isn't actually where I'm selecting it. I'm just sort of showing you how you can preview your animations. So anyway, what you need to have selected is the actual set itself here in the um, parent menu of the content browser. So just make sure you've got this yellow box around the animation set. <coughs> Close the content browser. Now we're going to go to Kismet. Now, uh, all of this is part of the uh, matinee and other Kismet setup that uh, runs the spaceship, fires off its projectiles and stuff. 
I'm not going to go into detail explaining that because it's a matter of a different tutorial, but we are using this matinee that already has our mover, our shift mover. We're going to be using that same matinee to animate our cameras and our skeletal meshes. So they're all part of the same thing. Um, so we've got our skeletal mesh or iron guard here selected. We're going to want to right click in the gray area on the left side of the matinee and add new empty group. And ask us to name it. So I'm going to name mine guard. Or we can call him iron guard. So we know exactly who he is. Now iron guard needs an animation track. So we right click on this and uh, move our cursor to find new, add new anim control track. Click on that and now he's got an anim control track. Now at this point you need to be able to see your properties. And let's see, where are we? Find our window. Here we go. Our properties window. And while you have not the anim track, but actually the, the parent track, the iron guard, guard track selected, come down to properties and look at this menu called group anim steps. You want to hit the green arrow and then you're, I mean the green plus sign, excuse me, to open up this drop down. And then now, whenever you hit the green arrow, it's going to use whatever you've selected already in the content browser and attach that animation set to this mesh. So if you haven't already picked one, go ahead and go back to the content browser and pick one. That's fine, but we already have our animation set selected. So we're going to go ahead and click the green arrow, and now this is attached. So now when we go and select, highlight our anim, our anim track, you, um, you can leave properties now. Take the timeline, fly this timeline bar to about where you want his animation to start. I want mine to start at about one second or so. Let's get a little bit closer. Um, so that looks about right. So we got our timeline where we want. Now we got to make sure anim track is highlighted and hit enter to drop a keyframe. And it's going to ask you which sequence you want. I'm going to scroll down, get taunt. Loop, press OK, and now starting at one second, we see here. Let's look at this guy in the viewport. Zoom in a little bit. At that time, he'll do he'll do his little. And if you don't like exactly where it was, you can control hold control and left click on the keyframe arrow, this little orange and black arrow, and you can move it around. But I'm gonna leave it where it is. Um, actually, I'm going to. Uh, wrap up this particular installment of the video and start a new video to show you how to start uh, setting up the camera and getting into cinematic mode. Um, so please join me again for the uh, second part.